okay good morning students today we discuss about uh, units and the measurement chapter units and the measurement so already in regular in regular classes we study fa system mk system cga system and also fundamental quantities derived quantities okay see in this session we learn about fundamental quantities derived quantities dimensions formulas and uh, principle of homogeneity now let us start okay so physical quantity physical quantity what is meant by physical quantity the quantity which is measurable is called physical quantity the quantity which is measurable is called physical quantity all quantities are physical quantities so length mass time force energy pressure torque viscosity what are it these are all etc etc all physical quantities any quantity which is measurable which is measurable so that is called physical quantities physical quantities are classified into two categories fundamental quantities and derived quantities fundamental quantities and so first one is fundamental quantities fundamental quantity fundamental quantities and second one is derived quantities derived quantities so fundamental quantities what are fundamental quantities the quantities which cannot derive the quantities which cannot derive are called fundamental quantities example for fundamental quantities mass length time these are fundamental quantities the quantities which cannot derive which cannot derive that is called fundamental quantities derived quantities the quantities which are derived from fundamental quantities are called derived quantities example for derived quantities force torque work so like that etc etc so these are the derived quantities so generally fundamental quantity fundamental quantities are seven so how many fundamental quantities are there seven seven fundamental quantities are there so these are very most important fundamental quantities fundamental quantities so seven fundamental quantities are there so first one is mass next length time temperature electric current amount of substance and last one is luminous intensity luminous intensity so mass length time temperature electric current amount of substance luminous intensity these are all fundamental quantities so units of fundamental quantities units mass kilogram length meter time second temperature kelvin electric current ampere 
amount of substance mole and luminous intensity candela luminous intensity candela so these are the si units of fundamental quantities symbolical representation symbolically mass represented by letter m meter l second s temperature k electric current a amount of substance m o a luminous intensity candela c so these are the representation of uh, some letters so mass represented by m length uh, l time s yes, temperature k electric current a amount of substance mole that is m o a luminous intensity candela that is nothing but c and two supplementary quantities are there so so two supplementary quantities that is first one is plane angle plane angle plane angle that is angle in plane angle in a plane of course plane angle so si unit is nothing but radian radian si unit is nothing but a radian and uh, second one is solid angle plane angle is nothing but angle in plane angle in a plane angle in a plane of course plane angle si unit is radian so it is measured like this this is the radius this is d theta is the plane angle of course ab is the arc arc of length so plane angle see d theta is equal to length arc length arc length divided by radius arc length divided by radius so simply calculate the plane angle in this formula d theta is equal to arc length by radius and similarly another supplementary Another supplementary quantity that is solid angle. Solid angle. Solid angle like this. Solid angle. Or uh, angle in space. Or angle in a space. So solid angle steradian. SI unit is steradian. steradian so it is steradian so solid angle is measured by like this using the formula solid angle represented like this d o like so solid angle is equal to area by radius square area by radius square that is a by r square a by r square that is solid angle in a system steradian plane angle means angle in plane solid angle means angle in space angle in space okay okay so this is these are the seven fundamental quantities of course mass mass of the substances is mass of the bodies is measured by common balance which are used in grocery shops and also are uh, like uh, provision stores and uh, mass of the big bodies like uh, planets stars is measured by using uh, newton gravitational law and similarly mass of the subatomic particles is measured by mass spectrograph method and also mass of the subatomic particles like uh, proton neutron electron expressed in uh, atomic mass units already we know 
atomic mass unit define atomic mass unit or define one am so what is meant by atomic mass unit so 1 by 12th mass of one atom of carbon 12 isotopes that is nothing but one amu what is the value of amu so one am equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms one u is equal to how much 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms so that is small particles like electron proton neutron expressed in the, the mass of proton neutron electron expressed in the ams atomic mass units when am is equal to 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 isotopes when am is equal to mass of one that is when am is equal to 1 by 12th mass of one atom of carbon 12 isotopes carbon 12 isotopes so when am value is 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kilograms so that is the mass next one length so length generally length is measured by simply for small distances meter scale for large distances which method is used parallax method that is to find out the distance of stars or planets whatever it so which method parallax method by using parallax method to determine the large distance bodies so and another one is time so time is measured by cesium clock or atomic clock cesium clock or atomic clock cesium clock or atomic clock time is measured by which device cesium clock or atomic clock next temperature so temperature is measured by which device thermometer so thermometer is a device to measure the temperature of the human body temperature of the human body now so these are the fundamental quantities so derived quantities means so derived quantities these are the physical quantities which derived from fundamental quantities which derived from fundamental quantities now so let us discuss dimensions let us discuss dimensions okay so dimensions what are dimensions so dimensions are the powers raised to the physical uh, raised to the fundamental quantities to obtain a given physical quantity is called uh, dimensions so what are dimensions dimensions are the powers raised to the fundamental quantities to obtain a given physical quantity given physical quantity there is nothing but dimensions so m power a l power b t power c so these are the m and t are the fundamental quantities the powers will be raised the powers will be raised to obtain a given physical quantity given physical quantity next so dimensional formula so what is meant by dimensional formula so it is an expression which represents which represents the physical quantity in terms of dimensions in terms of dimensions that is nothing but dimensional formula it is an expression which represents the physical quantity in terms of dimensions in terms of dimensions that is called a dimensional formula simply m l t is the so m l power 2 t power minus 2 this is the expression for dimensional formula for uh, energy dimensional formula for uh, energy so dimensional formula means it is an expression it is an uh, expression which represents fund which represents physical quantity this is the physical quantity expressed in terms of dimensions these are the dimensions that is m power 1 l power 2 t power minus 2 so this is the physical quantity which physical quantity this is the energy okay similarly acceleration so l is equal to a is equal to t power minus 2 so m power 0 L power one, T power minus two. This is an acceleration. So the physical quantity expressed in terms of dimensions is nothing but dimensional formula. So dimensional equation, an equation which shows the relation between physical quantity and the dimensional formula. Physical quantity and the dimensional formula is nothing but dimensional equation. An equation which shows the relation between physical quantity and the 
dimensional formula is nothing but dimensional equation. See, so velocity is the physical quantity. So dimensional formula of velocity is nothing but uh, m power 0, l power 1, t power minus 1. This is the dimensional equation for uh, velocity. Okay, so let us start now some more uh, dimensional formulas. So let us write some uh, dimensional formulas. See, so for mass, mass m, length is nothing but L, time. So dimensional formula for time t like this, expressed in the square brackets. Okay, mass m, length L, time t. So next one, velocity. Velocity. So, like this, velocity means uh, displacement by time. Displacement by time. So, displacement is nothing but uh, distance or displacement, whatever it represented, L divided by time, capital T. So, then uh, velocity L t power minus 1. So, it is uh, time taken from denominator to numerator. So, L t power minus 1. And next one is acceleration. Acceleration. So acceleration means velocity by time. Velocity by time taken. So acceleration is equal to velocity. So velocity. What is the dimensional formula for velocity? L t power minus 1. So m power 0. We have t power minus 1 divided by time. T. T with the dimensional formula for time. So, a is equal to m power 0 l t power minus 2. So, this is the dimension formula for the acceleration. So, in another way to find out the dimension formula by using the SI unit. By using the SI unit. Suppose, so velocity, what is the, what is the SI unit of velocity? Meter per second. Meter per second. So, meter means length, L. Seconds means time. So, dimensional formula for velocity is Lt power minus 1. And similarly, acceleration. What is the SI unit of acceleration? Meter per second square. See, meter per second square. Meter means L. So, second square, that is T square. So, dimensional formula for acceleration is Lt power minus 2. So, this is another way to find out the dimensional formula by using a SI unit. So, this is the direct method. So, by using a formula to find out the dimensional formula of that physical quantity. Next one is force. F is equal to MA. F is equal to MA. So, M that is mass. So, the next formula of mass is capital M, acceleration, Lt power minus 2. So, this is the dimensional formula for the force. Dimensional formula for the force. So, in another way to find out the dimension formula by using a SI unit. What is the SI unit of force? Newton. What is the SI unit of force? Newton means kg meter per second square. That is MA. That is m into a. So, dimensional formula for force, so kg, that is nothing but mass, m meter, that is l by second square is nothing but t square. So, m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for the force. Dimensional formula for the force. Okay. Acceleration and force. This is the another way, okay, and also velocity. Next, some more physical quantities, dimensional formulas. And uh, momentum, momentum, so momentum is represented like this, P, P is equal to M into V. So what is the? Uh, dimensional formula for the uh, mass 
m and velocity l t power minus 1. So, m power 1, l power 1, t power of minus 1. This is the dimensional formula for the momentum and also next one is impulse. Impulse is nothing but force into time. Force into time. So, force is nothing but m into a into time. So, m a L t power minus 2 and t okay like this this is m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 1 so momentum and impulse both are same dimensional formulas momentum and the impulse are same dimensional formulas these are the same dimensional formulas next one energy energy or uh, work energy or the work dimension formula for energy or the work so so work done w is equal to force into displacement so force already we know that is m yau t power minus 2 and displacement what l displacement or distance whatever it so that is Dimensional formula for uh, work done is m power 1, l power 2, t power minus 2. This is the energy or work. So, <coughs> similarly, kinetic energy, potential energy, and also torque, both are the uh, same dimensional formula. Similarly, torque, tau is equal to force into perpendicular distance force into perpendicular distance force tau, tau is equal to force dimension formula m l t power minus 2 and uh, distance that is l so m l power 2 t power minus 2 so so energy or work kinetic energy potential energy torque moment of force couple both are same dimension formulas these are all, all same dimensional formulas. So, and another one, some elastic constraints. Elastic constraints. So, dimensional formula for uh, some elastic constraint, already we know. So, bulk modulus, rigidity modulus, Young's modulus. Young's modulus. So, so already we know that is elastic constraint, bulk modulus, residue modulus, Young's modulus. So, Young's modulus y is equal to stress by strain. Formula for Young's modulus. Formula for Young's modulus. Young's modulus is equal to stress by strain. That is longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. So, stress means Stress is nothing but a force per unit area. So divided by strain, change in length by original length. Change in length by original length. So strain is the dimensionless quantity because of change in length meter divided by again meter, then they are cancelled out. So then, uh, so Young's modulus of, uh, uh, Young's modulus. Young's modulus, what is the dimensional formula for Young's modulus is nothing but uh, stress. That is, so y is equal to force by area, force dimension formula, m, l, t power, minus 2 divided by area, l power 2, it cancel out, m, l power minus 1, t power minus 2. This is the, this is the <coughs> dimensional formula for the Young's modulus and also bulk modulus, residue modulus also same, same. And also another one is pressure. So pressure is nothing but a force per a unit area. Force per a unit area. So dimensional formula for force is m l t power minus two divided by area l power l power two. And l and l cancel out. Then uh, so pressure 
dimension formula. So young L power minus one T power minus two. So like this, these are all same dimension formulas. So that is Young's modulus, rigidity modulus, bulk modulus, and also pressure and also stress also same dimension formula. Same uh, dimensional formula. Stress also same. So now, so let us discuss dimensional formula for uh, fundamental con constants. Fundamental constants. <coughs> Are some physical constants. Uh, some fundamental constants. So universal gravitational constant, dimensional formula, dimensional formula for dimensional formula for a universal gravitational constant, universal gravitational constant. Universal gravitational constants like this f is equal to g m1 m2 by d square. In this case, where g universal gravitational constant, f is nothing but force, m1 and m2 are masses of two bodies, d is the distance between two massive bodies. Then g is equal to f d square by m1 and m2. m1 and m2. So, force is nothing but same force, gravitational force, electrostatic force, my electromagnetic force, all forces, centripetal force, both are same dimensional formula, that is nothing but m, l, t power minus 2. And distance, l power 2. Distance is nothing but l, square is there, square, l square. And m1, m2, kg into kg, kg power 2. So then, gravitational constant, g is equal, what? Dimension formula for what? M L power 3 See kg square kg square means that is M L square L L cube T power minus 2 divided by kg that is M power 2 See See M M cancel out then M power minus 1 L power 3 T power minus 2 T power uh, minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for the gravitational, universal gravitational constant. Universal gravitational. Okay. In another way, to find out the universal gravitational constant by simple method. So that is by using relation between small g and capital G. Small g is equal to gm by r square. On cross multiplication, Capital G is equal to G R square by capital M. So G is equal to small g is nothing but acceleration due to gravity. Already you know, you know, already we know the dimension formula for acceleration that is L T power minus 2 into R square that is nothing but L power 2 divided by M power 1. So G is equal to M power minus 1, L power 3 t power minus 2. This is the dimension formula for the universal gravitational constant. This is the simple way to find out the dimension formula for the capital G. Now let us discuss some more constants that is permeability of free space and permeability of free space. That is permittivity of free space and the permeability of Free space, dimension formulas, mu naught and epsilon naught and mu naught. So, permeability or first of all, permittivity. Permittivity, say like this epsilon or epsilon naught. Epsilon is the permittivity of medium, epsilon naught is the permittivity of vacuum. See, by using, already we know, by using uh, Coulomb's law, F is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2 by D square. 
So, by using this formula to find out the dimension formula for the permittivity. So, epsilon naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi f on cross multiplication q q divided by t square. So, that is nothing but q1 q2 divided by t square. Okay, 4 pi is the dimensionless quantity. Epsilon naught is equal to c q1 q2. So, q be the charge. So, dimension formula for charge i into t. Similarly, another q2 also i into t. See dear students, current is equal to the rate of flow of charge. Hallelujah. Then q is equal to i into t. So, divided by dimension formula for force, already we know m l t power minus 2, that is m j and also d square that is l power 2, l power 2. So then m power minus 1, m power minus 1, l, l square, l cube. Next one, t, t, t power 2. Again, this is also t power minus 2, to the power of 4, i power, i power. This is the dimension formula for uh, permittivity of free space. See, dear students, i into i, i power 2. And uh, t power 1, t power 1, that is t power 2. This is also t power minus 2. So, it is uh, taking from denominator to numerator. So, overall t power 4 and L and L square, that is L cube, sorry, L, L square, L power minus 3, L power uh, minus 3. And also M power 1, it is also taken from denominator to numerator, M power minus 1. So, this is the dimension formula for the permittivity, dimension formula for the permittivity. Next, another one is permeability, permeability. So, permeability of free space, mu naught of the R medium, whatever it is. Again, once again, I will take uh, Coulomb's law in magnetism. This is Coulomb's law in electrostatics, Coulomb's law in magnetism, mu naught by 4 pi, m1, m2 by d square. So, dear students, please remember it in this case, m1 and m2 are pole strength. m1 and m2 are pole strength. See, Pole strength M1 is equal to M2 is equal to pole strength. Pole strength. So, what is the dimension formula for pole strength? Simply, what is the SI unit of pole strength? Ampere meter. Ampere meter. So, dimension formula for pole strength Ampere is nothing but A or I, whatever it I meter L. This is the dimension formula for the pole strength, I into L. Then, so I want uh, permeability mu naught. So mu naught is equal on cross multiplication, of course, 4 pi is the dimensionless quantity, F d square divided by M1 under M2. M1 under M2. Therefore, mu naught is equal. So, what is the dimension formula for force? M L T power minus 2 into d square, that is L power 2 divided by M1 I L and also I L. So, L L is L square, L square, L square get cancelled. Then mu naught is equal to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2, i power minus 2. See, m, m, only l is there, that is l power 1, and also t power minus 2, i into i, i square, it is taken from numerator to denominator to numerator. That is i power minus 2. So, this is the dimension formula for permeability. Permeability.
Next, another one now, uh, inductance. Self inductance or mutual inductance. Same dimensions. Inductance that is L. So I will take one formula that is energy stored in the inductor. So U is equal to of L I square. U is equal to of L I square. Then so this is U is nothing but energy or work. So what is the dimension formula for work? M L power two T power minus two. So then in this case two is the dimensionless quantity. So, so this is work. Work is nothing but a force into displacement. That is equal to R. So I will write directly. So L is equal to U by I square. U by I square. So dimensional formula for the dimensional formula for the work or energy M. L power two, T power minus two, divided by. The mutual formula for I is nothing but I because of it is a fundamental quantity. So I power two, I power two. Okay, then L is equal inductance M power one, L power two, T power minus two, I power minus two. This is the dimensional formula for the Inductance. Dimension formula for the inductance. What is the SI unit of inductance? Henry. R the ohm second. R the ohm second. Okay. So next one. U is equal to of L I square. So then I want L. So on cross multiplication, U by I square. Of is the dimensionless quantity. Okay. So next, uh, next one. Coefficient of viscosity. Dimensional formula for the coefficient of viscosity. Coefficient of viscosity. So that is nothing but uh, eta. Represent the letter eta. See, F is equal. I will take one formula. F is equal eta a dv by dx. So by using this formula to find out the coefficient of viscosity. So F is the viscous force. Eta is the coefficient of viscosity. N is the area. And d by d d b by d x is nothing but d b by d x. What is meant by d b by d x? Velocity gradient. D b by d x is nothing but velocity gradient. Velocity gradient. Velocity gradient. What is the average formula for velocity gradient? See velocity l t power minus one divided by distance. dx is the distance or displacement l c that is t power minus 1 see dear students velocity gradient dimension formula is t power minus 1 similarly what is the dimension formula for frequency reciprocal of time period is nothing but frequency so dimension formula for frequency also same and also angular velocity angular velocity only is equal to 2 pi f or 2 pi by t. 2 pi is the dimensionless quantity. Then 1 by t is nothing but t power. What is the dimensional formula for t? Is nothing but t. So 1 by t. So dimensional formula for angular velocity t power minus. So these three are same dimensional formulas. So velocity gradient t power minus one, frequency also t power minus one, angular velocity or angular frequency also t power minus one. Okay, then I want a coefficient of viscosity eta. So then, so then n is equal to or 
F is equal to force. Bernoulli formula for force: m l t power minus two. That is equal to eta. And what is the Bernoulli formula for area? L power two. That is meter square. So it is meter square. That is L power two. D over D X is equal to what? T power minus one. T power. Then uh, eta is equal to Yam yau t power minus two divided by l power two t power minus one. Then one l l get cancelled out. Then finally yam power one l power minus one t power minus one. So this is the coefficient of viscosity dimension formula. Yam power one l power minus one t power uh, minus one. Okay, students. Now, so let us discuss some uh, composite physical quantities. Then we shall form a further some composite physical quantities. Some compo. Then we shall form a further some composite physical quantities. See, L by R, R C. And uh, L R and uh, E square by two epsilon naught H C and uh, mu naught epsilon naught. So these are the some composite terms. So how to find out the dimension formula for the some composite physical quantities? Okay, students. First of all, L by R. So there are two methods to find out the dimension formula. So direct method, first of all, direct method. I will take direct method. Then L by R dimension formula for the L by R. So what is the SI unit of L? Ohm second divided by like this R ohm. Ohm ohm get a cancel out. So that is second is nothing but dimension formula for second. That is capital. So is nothing but time factor. L by R is nothing but time factor. It is a very most important for examination point of view. We see it here on meet examination point of view. So L by R is nothing but time factor. Okay. So another way to find out the Dimensional formula for uh, L by R. So, in case of uh, growth of current or decay of current in L R circuit, L R circuits. So that is another way. Growth of current. Growth of current in L R circuit. L means inductance, R means resistance. So L R circuits. Already we discussed in uh, alternating current chapter. So growth of current in L R circuit, I is equal to I naught to the power of minus T R by L. T R by L. So this is the growth of current in L R circuit. So according to principle of homogeneity, the dimensions of both sides of the equation must be same. Then current I This is the I naught. Both dimensions are equal. Then the term e to the power of minus t into R by L. T into R by L is the dimensional less quantity. This is the dimensional less quantity. This is dimensional less. Dimensional less quantity. So T R by T R by L also dimensionless quantity. Then M power zero, L power zero, T power zero. So M power zero, L power zero, T power zero. What are the values? There is nothing but one. Total one. On cross multiplication, T is equal to what? L by R. So L by R. So what is the value of L by R? T. So the dimension formula for the T is nothing but capital T. That is equal to L by R. Well, so this is the simplest way to find out the dimensional formula for L by R. 
L by R. Okay. Similarly, similarly R C. Similarly R C. So again, uh, I will take two methods. First method is direct method. Direct method for direct method. So dimensional formula for R C. R C. R is nothing but resistance. That is O S I unit. C is the capacitance. C is nothing but uh, Q V equal to C V. C is equal to what? Q by V. So Q by V. That is equal to O. Q divided by V is nothing but I R. V is nothing but a I R R. That is nothing but ohm get cancelled out because resistance of ohm is nothing. Resistance. S I unit of resistance is ohm. Ohm ohm get cancelled. So Q divided by I, I means Q by T, Q by T, Q Q get cancelled. So R C. So R C is nothing but time. R C is nothing but the time. Dimensional formula for time is same. Again, M power zero, L power zero, T power one, T power one, or simply T power one. So R C also a time factor. So another way to find out the dimensional formula. It is easiest way. In case of uh, CR circuits, the growth of or uh, growth of charge or decay of charge, decay of charge in RC circuit, in RC circuit, Q is equal to RC circuit, Q is equal to Q naught. U to the power of minus T by R C. T by R C. So according to the principle of homogeneity, both sides of the equations dimensionally equal. So then Q is nothing but Q naught. Both are equal dimensions. Then this is the dimensionless quantity. Similarly, T by R C also a dimensionless quantity. M zero, L zero, T power G. Then on, this is nothing but one on cross multiplication. T is equal to R C. So what is the value of R C? Time. So dimensional formula for time like this. T power one R T. Okay. Next. Next one. See. Next one. Next one is I will take another quantity that is uh, L C. L into C. So, what is the dimensional formula for LC? Dear student, already we know resonance frequency F is equal to one by two pi root of LC. By using this formula to find out the or to determine the value of LC, then after to find out the dimensional formula. So, on cross multiplication, root LC is equal to one by two pi F. Root LC is equal to one by two pi F. One by two pi is the dimensionless quantity. Then uh, LC is equal to one by F power two. That's square. So then uh, one by what is the dimensional formula for frequency? Frequency is nothing but uh, T power minus one power two. So one by T power minus two. Then LC is equal to T power two. This is the dimensional formula for the LC. So S yes, I unit second square. LC dimensional formula T power two. Then, then L R L R L into R dimensional formula for L R. So L inductance inductance S I unit O second. Into resistance O is nothing but ohm power two into second. So in this case, what is the dimensional formula for the resistance? So R is equal to V by I. V potential I is the current. V is nothing but W by Q into I. Then what is the dimensional formula for work? Yam L T power minus two. Yam L power two T power minus two divided by 
Q is nothing but I into T again I. Again I. So then resistance R is equal to resistance R is equal to C M power 1 L power 2 and uh, this is T power 1. So take it from T power 1 denominator to denominator T power minus 3 and I I I power 2 again take it from denominator to numerator I power minus 2. See dear students, M, M power 1 and uh, L power 2. In denominator there is no L, L power 2 and other one, so T power 1 is there. So T power 1 and T power minus 2, of course T power of minus 3. This is uh, in denominator, it is taken from denominator to denominator. T power 1 is nothing but T power minus 1. T power minus 1, T power minus 2, T power minus 3. I, I, I power 2, it is taken from denominator to denominator. I power minus 2. I power minus 2. So this is the dimensional form of our resistance. This is the resistance. So substituting resistance value in the above equation, that is LR is equal to resistance M power 1, L power 2, L power 2, T power minus 3, I power minus 2, I power minus 2 whole square into second, that is nothing but T. Then multiply directly M power 2, L power 4, T power 3 to 6, minus 6, I power minus 4, minus 4 into T power 1. Then finally, M power 2, L power 4, T power minus 6 plus 1, T power minus 5, I power minus 4. This is the dimension formula for LR. LR. Okay, students. Next. Next dimensions of dimension formula for uh, dimensional formula for d e square by two epsilon naught hc. Dimensional formula for e square divided by two epsilon naught h into c. So I want uh, dimension formula for e square divided by 2 epsilon naught h into c. So dear students, already we know the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom Vn is equal to e square divided by 2 epsilon naught nh. So n is the n is the principal quantum number or orbit number or orbit number. So see dear students, Vn is equal to, of course n is equal to 1. For first orbit, velocity e square divided by 2 epsilon naught h. See dear students, e square divided by 2 epsilon naught h is nothing but velocity. So, substituting the value well in this case, then uh, e square divided by 2 epsilon naught h into c, this is nothing but v, v by c. So, velocity by velocity is cancelled out. It is a dimensionless quantity m power 0, l power 0, t power 0. So it is a dimensionless quantity simply. Next, uh, another one is mu naught and epsilon naught. Mu naught and epsilon naught. So dimensional formula for uh, mu naught and epsilon naught. Mu naught and epsilon naught. So dear students, so velocity of light in terms of permittivity and permeability already we know in the electromagnetic waves chapter. So C is equal to 1 divided by square root of mu naught and epsilon naught. Mu naught and epsilon naught. So on cross multiplication like this, mu naught epsilon naught is equal to 1 by C squaring on both sides. 1 by c power 2. C. So 1 divided by velocity lt power minus 1 whole power 2. So mu naught epsilon naught is equal to 1 divided by l power 2 t power minus 2. 
So mu naught epsilon naught is equal to L power minus two P power two. So this is the dimensional formula for the mu naught and the epsilon naught. Mu naught and the epsilon naught. Okay. This is the dimensional formula for the mu naught and the epsilon naught. Okay. So okay, students. So next one. Next one. Principle of homogeneity. Principle of homogeneity. According to principle of homogeneity, the dimensions of both sides of the equation must be same. Must be same. So, so then uh, write the dimensional formula some equations. So suppose v is equal to a t plus b t by c minus x plus d t square by x. So this is the one uh, equation. So what is the dimensional formula for a b D and also C. In this case, the students V is the velocity and uh, T is the time. So in this case, V is the velocity and T is equal to time. And also X is the displacement or distance. Displacement or distance. A is equal. B is equal. Of course, A comma B comma C and D are constants and the constants. So I want the dimensional formula for A, B, C and D. So according to principle of homogeneity, the equations of both sides of the physical quantities or dimensional formulas are must be same. So this is the velocity. This is also a velocity term. And also, moreover, the physical quantity must be separated from another physical, same physical quantity, same physical quantity. See, c minus x, x is the distance. So, c also is distance because of because of the distance must be separated from distance only, not the distance. Uh, uh, the distance uh, does not separate from force. According to principle of homogeneity. Any physical quantity, any physical quantity must be separated from same physical quantity. Must be separated from same physical quantity. Of course, subtraction and also addition are all possible. So velocity, this is also velocity term. B B T by C minus X also velocity term. B D B D square by X also a velocity term. So in this case, C minus X, C minus X. This is the displacement. This is also displacement. So the distance or displacement, whatever it, the distance separated from distance, then what we get distance. What we got distance. Okay. Then uh, C D students, I want the dimension formula for A B C D. C V is equal to A T. This is also a velocity term. According to principle of homogeneity. According to the principle of homogeneity, the dimensions of both sides of the equations must be same. Okay, so what is the dimensional formula for velocity? L t power minus one. So that is equal to that is equal to a into what is the value? What is the dimensional formula for time t? So so on cross multiplication, a is equal to what? L t power minus two. So the a is generally constant, but in this case, l t power minus two. This is the dimensional formula. It is a dimensional formula for a. a. Is similar to the law. Is nothing but acceleration. Is nothing but the acceleration. So yeah, what is the SI unit of l t power minus two meter per second square? Meter per second square is nothing but the acceleration. 
is nothing but acceleration students okay next another one b so this is the first one and the second one is c velocity is equal to vt by c minus x vt by c minus x okay this is the velocity lt power minus 1 b is the constant t so t like this capital t this is the dimensional form of a time capital t c minus x the total term is displacement or distance okay so that is the distance uh, l so on cross multiplication b is equal to cross multiplication l l l power 2 so again this is the convert to denominator come to denominator and go to again uh, numerator so t power t power minus 2 so t power minus this is the dimensional formula for b so dimensional formula for b is l power 2 t power minus 2 l power 2 t power minus 2 so what is the si unit of this dimensional formula meter square by second square meter square by second square okay that is the b is the one of the constant term so and another one and another one velocity is equal to dt square divided by x where d is the constant t be the time factor x is the distance so velocity dimension formula l power l t power minus that is equal to t t square what is the dimension formula for t square so t power 2 divided by x l so dimension formula for d on cross multiplication l power 2 t power minus 1 and again t power minus 2 so d is equal to l power 2 t power minus 3 this is the dimension formula for the constant d so what is the what is the si unit of this one l square is nothing but meter square and uh, second q meter square by second q okay this is the dimensional formula for d some physical constants some constant values so by using principle of homogeneity to find out the to find out the dimensional formula for uh, some constants so according to principle of homogeneity dimensions of both sides of the equation must be same okay next uh, so another example <coughs> Another example. So example two, f is equal to a t plus b t squared, or a by t, whatever it. A by t plus b t squared. In this case, a comma b are constants. According to principle of homogeneity, according to principle of homogeneity, dimensions on both sides of the equation must be same. See, this is also a force term f is equal to a by t so i want the dimensions of a and b a and b so a is equal to f is equal to a by t dimensional formula for force m of t power minus 2 a divided by t so t is nothing but capital t dimensional formula for time is capital t so a is equal to on cross multiplication m l power 2 t power minus 2 so in this case, what if this is not this m l power 2 t power minus 2 is nothing but energy or work or torque or energy. So in this case, A is nothing but energy or work m l power 2 t power minus 2. Of course, A is the constant. So what is the SI unit of work or energy? Job. Okay, students. So next one, I want to dimension formula for B. So F is equal, F is equal B T square. F is equal B T square. So force, dimension formula for force, M L T power minus 2. That is equal to B into T square, L power, T square, T power T. Okay, B is equal to M power 1, L power 1. So t power minus 4. t power minus 4. This is the dimension formula for the constant b. 
m power 1, l power 1, t power 1, minus 4. Okay, students. So, another one, next one, dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis. So, dimensional, by using dimensional analysis to check the correctness of the given equation and to convert one system of unit to another system and also a, to derive the relation between different uh, physical quantities using dimensional analysis. So, using dimensional analysis, first one is to convert one system of unit to another system. To convert one system of unit to another system. To convert one system of unit to another system. <coughs> See, dear students, suppose let us consider a rod. Let us consider a rod of length 20 centimeter or 20 meter or 2 meter. Of length 2 meter. <coughs> I will take one rod of length 2 meter. So, in this case, 2 is the numerical value, m is the unit. M is the unit. 2 is the numerical value, M is the unit. So, 2 meter, this is the in SA system. This is the SA system. In CGS system, again, the length 2 meter converted. So, 2 meter, two, that is 200 centimeters. 1 meter equal to how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. 100 into 2, 200 centimeters. In this case, 200 is the numerical value, centimeter is the unit in CG system. In the CG system. See, dear students, so convert force into dynes. So, 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 dynes. 10 to the power of 5 dynes. So, how to convert 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 dynes? 10 to the power of 5 dynes. Force. Newton is nothing but a force. F is equal to m into a. So, generally 1 newton is equal to 1 kg, of course, acceleration into 1 meter per second square. This is the both sides are SI units. 1 newton is equal to 1 kg into 1 meter per second square. See, 1 newton is equal to 1 kg. It is converted into grams, 1000 grams into meter. It is converted into CG system, that is, meter converted into centimeters, 100 centimeters, divided by second square. So, 1 newton is equal to 10 power 3, 10 power 2. How much? 10 power 5. Gram, centimeter, second power, minus 2. So, the gram, centimeter, per second square is nothing but dime. Is nothing but dime. 1 newton is equal to how much? 10 to the power of 5, dime. 10 to the power of 5, dime. So, this is the conversion of one system of unit to another system using dimensional analysis. First one. So, in second one, also similarly, one zone is equal to 10 to the power of 7 eggs. One zone is equal to 10 to the power of 7 eggs. Zone is the SI unit of work or energy. Work or energy. So, so work done is equal to force into force into displacement. Force into displacement. Okay. So one zone is equal to force newton and also this is the displacement of course meter. SI units. These are the SI units. One zone is equal to newton how much? One newton is equal to how much? 10 power 5 times. 10 power of 5 dynes already just uh, we discussed and a meter so meter is the 
generally SI unit convert into CG system. So 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters. So one zone is equal to 10 to the power of 7 dimes and centimeters. So dime into centimeter is nothing but a LP. So one zone is equal to how much 10 to the power of 7 x. So one zone is equal to 10 to the power of 7 x. By using dimensional analysis, this is the convert to one system to another system. One system of unit to another system of unit. Simply. So another one. Another one. See. For direct conversion. 9 point G value. Acceleration due to gravity. 9.8 meter per second square. Is converted into. Converted into. Kilometer per minute square. Just yes, we need to convert. 9.8 meter per second square is the generally SI unit. Acceleration due to gravity. Convert into kilometer per minute square. Directly for direct method. See. So G is equal to 9.8 into meter. How many kilometers? 10 power minus 3 kilometers. So divided by second square. So dear students, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, 1 second is equal to 1 by 60 minutes, 1 by 60 minutes. So see signature of second, 1 by 60, 1 by 60 minutes, 1 by 60 minutes, square is there, so I will write square. So, G is equal to 9.8 into 10 power minus 3 is nothing but, of course, is nothing but 1000. 1 by 10 cube. One, 10 power minus 3 is nothing but 1 by 10 power 3. So, it is convert. Like this. 1 by 60. 60 taken from 10 over into numerator. That is 60 into 60. Oh, 60 square. This is 60 square students. 60 into 60. 60 into 60 divided by minute square. Minute square. Of course, kilometer by minute square. Okay, students. 0, 0, cancel out. This is 9.8. Approximately is nothing but 10. Cancel out. So, G is equal to 6 into 6, 36 kilometer per minute square so so 9.8 meter per second square is nothing but 36 kilometer per minute square this is the direct conversion method okay students now tomorrow we we'll discuss about remaining two uses remaining two of dimensional analysis and also errors Okay students, thank you.